Thanks to Targety for sponsoring this podcast. Hello, welcome to the second tips and tricks session. And next to me sitting Joe. Hi. And he will show us how to create a multi-column header. Um, uh, actually, it's a multi-line header. Multi-line header. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Without complicated uh, splits, char stuff and TypeScript configuration. Exactly. Yeah? Okay. So. so the basic problem is that usually when you have a header type, it might be a header or a subheader, you have a field. And the field is type input. Mm -hmm. Input means you have just one line of text. And if you fill in the text and you have multiple lines, you have to fill in additional characters to split uh, the line into multiple lines, which is quite um, difficult to do. Uh, it is much easier to do it uh, in a different way, and I can show th you this with an example, which is part of a smaller part of the ice pack, which is the ice core. Because in the ice core, we are using smaller elements that are used as a multi-line header. You have multi-line headers based on uh, HTML tags and you have graphical headers too, which are each multi-line headers. In this case, we are using uh, just a um, redefinition of uh, the TCA, which is be can be done in the Xtables PHP file. And you can ignore the rest, but um, the interesting line is this one here. Because in this case, we are redefining a field, which is, in this case, a subheader field, because we are using this uh, in the elements. And as you can see, it has a config section, and in the config section, there is an additional property, which is not very well known, which is called the form type. Yeah. And this means that you redefine just um, the behavior in the backend form, mm -hmm. but not the real type. So when you have an input type, you have, for example, evaluation and all the other stuff. This can still be done the same way as before, but the behavior in the backend will, uh, will be a new uh, behavior, which is in this case a text area, another an input field. Okay. You can see that yeah. in the configuration because we all installed this extension already. And as you can see, we have a subheader field here, which is part of the TT content. Yeah. And it's still type input. It has size, max, and all the other stuff. You can have evaluation. Mm -hmm. And the form type is text. Yeah. And now we can switch to the page view and you will see the result in this ice element. The ice element gives you some other elements too. In this case it's a graphical header. And the, um, the ice element um, is another C type of inserted course. by yeah, the plugin. It's, it's just yeah. not, not a real plugin, it's done in, in a, a um, similar way but yeah. uh, not as a real plugin. But it's a new content element, and the new content element gives you smaller chunks of um, elements, a single header, a single text field, mm -hmm. a single image, or other fields, and it uh, will ignore the rest. In this case, we have a graphical header, and the graphical header has the subheader field, which will be rendered in the front end. And as you can see, it's not an input field anymore. You have yeah. multi-line, which is, this is uh, multi line header another line and additionally we have some flex from uh, values here so that we can render this with a nice gift builder setup so you can have a background color don't know if it's working now ah, ah, okay here we have the right mm -hmm. place to click save and close yeah should be enough for now because the rest is just effects and yeah. other stuff. Which um, is quite cool because um, all this TypeScript stuff um, you ha you don't have to define all this TypeScript stuff to do yeah, a graphical header. As you can see we have a problem now because it's not <laughs> rendering in this uh, page because we didn't add the TypeScript correctly. Yeah. So we have to add it to um, the TypeScript setup but I can show it uh, to you on an, another page where we have this multi-line header available, which is called ice for anyone de This will be um, the page where the tutorial for the ice pack will be available if it's mm -hmm. finished, because currently it's just a prototype. Yeah. Um, we have a section here, and as you can see, here's a gift builder headline yeah. with multiple lines, which is done okay. the same way. Yeah. 
and the TypeScript configuration we need uh, could be found in the extension. Yeah, e exactly. I can show you uh, this in the backend here because here's the TypeScript already available. Go to the template. <laughs> Switch to the page here, and now we can use the object browser. And as you can see, there is a nice element mm -hmm. here. It's a case element because it's based uh, on um, a field which is rendered for uh, the other subtypes. Mm -hmm. And here we have the graphical header, which is in fact a lib standard header mm -hmm. as you're used to. Uh, but uh, it creates some additional stuff. And here we have the ice header, which is using the same technique. Yeah. And the only thing you have to <laughs> add to get it uh, working properly in um, usual headers, which are not using the GIF builder, yeah. is a standard wrap, um, because you need to have it rendered, um, oh, this is the wrong place, we have to do it here. Um, there's set current. Because we have to render the line breaks. Mm -hmm. Because you just get line breaks, and this is not a line break in HTML. So you add just one standard wrap, which is yeah. break is it's on. One. Yeah. It's just a Boolean switch. Okay. And, and that's, that's it. it. It's cool. So just yeah. one line of additional TypeScript, and yeah. the rest is done in the usual way, and one line in the yeah. next table's PHP, and that's it. Cool. Okay, thanks a lot. It was a nice trick. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.